Hello everyone and welcome back. Dace here. I am beyond stoked because Barrage Fantasia is on Switch. I have no idea how long it's been on Switch, but I just found out today. And oddly enough, this is one that I've been wanting to play for ages, ever since I saw Octane stream it months and months and months ago. So uh, someone mentioned it on Twitter that it's on Switch. 30% off right now on the eShop and I was blown away so I, I grabbed it right away and we're gonna just take a quick look um, we're not gonna do like a full playthrough or anything like that but uh, we're gonna take a look at what's what um, so yeah anyway let's just jump right in I have played a little bit so far I'm enjoying the crow so the way it works um, you have like these different options in terms of like the, the minion or the familiar that you fly with uh, so we won't go over all that stuff, but uh, I'm enjoying the crow anyway, so we're going to do that. And I'm going with Bomber. You have like a, a, an ability, essentially. Uh, so I've been doing that. I've been really enjoying Risky, but I think for showcasing the game, I'll probably either do Bomb Plus or maybe just Advance. Yeah, let's just do this. Feels like a pretty well-rounded way to go for sharing the experience. So anyway, you... Well, first off, this game just looks amazing. Like, this kind of cheerful, bright, charming style is just too good. I could go for a lot more games having this kind of look and feel, that is for sure. And I just love the chunky attacks. So yeah, the way it works, I'm not sure if you can always shoot uh, the orange bullets away. Maybe there are certain settings, like if you choose one thing or another, then you, it might take that away from you. Um, because there is a lot of uh, customization available and I haven't read everything over. Um, but I think it's cool that you can shoot some of them away. And... I do have a special available, which is um, something that cancels all bullets and does some damage as well, and I find that pretty useful. But yeah, so you pretty much go through... The stages are longer than you might think. Um, they're not like insanely long, but you kind of have like a couple boss fights or whatever, and then you come to the main boss. So that uh, crab looking creature. Actually, I won't say a couple. You have like one fight, I think, and then this is the main boss, but this boss has some additional phases after the fact. But I just love the colors. Like everything is really nice looking. The pixel art in this is just phenomenal. Anyway, I trust everybody is having a solid week so far. Uh, the weekend is right about to hit us, which is fantastic. I also picked up uh, Desitopia uh, because that's also 30% off on the eShop right now. Uh, and that's another one I had been wanting to play for quite some time, but I just haven't gotten around to it. But I really didn't want to pass up the opportunity with it being on sale, so I grabbed that earlier today. Oh, yikes, was not even paying attention. But man, it's like, what other games must be on the eShop? that I'm just not even aware of. Like, I would have played this ages ago. Unless it just dropped, but I don't think that's the case. I, I kind of have a suspicion it's been out for quite some time. Oh, all the hearts. So satisfying hearing the sound effects used in here, too. So yeah, that's stage one. 
I'll probably do like the first two or something and then we'll see where we're at for time. Um, but I know I'm definitely going to be tackling some some uh, clears and whatnot. And the thing I love about games like this is one that, that being like ones that have a lot of customization available is you can just do all sorts of different clears and the experience is always going to be very different. I just love these enemies. Oh, what? I'm gonna be joking. Man, there are so many things to just lap up. Like, the fact that it's like a medieval fantasy vibe, and yet we've got things like massive tanks. So cool. Like, when do you see that combination? Like, dragons and army tanks. And whatever else we're going to be checking out. Uh, what's interesting, um, just yesterday I played a game... Um, on Switch that I haven't played since 2019 and I have done a video on it before it's an STG um, but it's kind of like a, a tucked away bonus game as part of a collection and some of you might might know the game but for the most part I feel like people don't know about this game um, but I want to do an updated short video just because the channel has grown quite a bit since 2019 when I first did a video on it. Um, so I, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'll just wait until that goes up probably in the next day or two or something. But it's really neat. It's only like a two minute score attack mode. But it really, really, really reminds me of this. Just in terms of the, the bright, cheerful colors and all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to share that and just... Uh, yeah, revisit it a little more. I did uh, chip away at my old scores and have improved that a little bit, so that's always cool. Ooh, the beetle boss. And the attacks are really creative. I love this kind of stuff. Like, there's just all sorts of stuff going on. It's so cool. It's like you really gotta pay attention to those lines and everything else. Oh, yikes, did not mean to be so far up there. Man, things are just getting started with this guy. I'm not risking that. That was just silly. Okay. Oh, I'm not risking that either. Holy smokes. We got one more charge left we can fire off and then we're kind of... I'm just going to use it there. I feel like we're going to make it through this anyway, so I'm not too concerned. That's so cool. And I just, I love the fact that you can refill, as long as you're not in, um, what mode is it? I think it's Bomb Plus or something. There's a mode where you can only have one, like, Bomb Charger special, rather. Um, whereas normally you have like however many flasks and you can just fill up by collecting items, I think. And same with your health. Um, at the bottom you can see there's like, obviously I'm at max, so it doesn't 
it's not like it adds anything, but um, if I was missing like one or two health, then that bar when it fills, I'm assuming, will just give me an extra... Man, the attacks move in some fascinating ways, that's for sure. Oh, there's skulls somewhere. Holy smokes. Man, what is going on? Oh yeah, we're kind of starting at <laughs> stage three then. Okay, so I suppose we'll go a little longer. And for those who have been waiting for the uh, planned bomb video, that is going to be coming out very soon. Uh, there's just been a lot on the go, so there have been some delays. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. You know what? Let's just do that. We don't need to be heroes right now. Oh my god. Jeez. Man. Let's definitely get some more health now. But yeah, this is like 10 bucks, and I'm thinking, like, that is no price to pay for how awesome this already is. Like, I'm absolutely loving this game. You know what? Let's just not even risk that. Here we go. I can only imagine what's going to happen. Oh, oh, what? Oh, my God, crazy. Did not see that sort of thing coming. Oh, interesting. I'm wondering if I can touch the boss. Oh my god, what? Oh no! As if. Anyway, I'm going to be totally tackling more of this, that is for sure. But we're going to leave off there for now. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a sample in case you're interested or just, yeah, checking things out, whatever. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for being here. I always appreciate Everybody who shows up, watches, comments, all of that great stuff. So thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Um, yeah, have a solid week. Uh, weekend, I mean. Um, I will have some videos coming out. And we will connect when we do. Take care.